Not exactly a selling point, I know, but it's just not soda without it. The crystal of poison is powerful enough to dissolve a whole mouthful of chompers. Huh. Looks like this one will be easy peasy. Just go ahead and grab that crystal.
best selling colas have a little kick. And if a little is good, then a lot is better. The crystal of fire is just what we need to really body slam the old taste buds. Lights out at the fire shrine too, huh? You'll have to charge that fire crystal somehow. You traipse upon sacred ground, interloper. You will burn! Uh-oh. That doesn't sound like a welcoming party. The storm takes flight! I've started with some basic magical brewing components, but it's time to add the crystals and make this soda really pop. Get it? Get it? I'm, uh, I'm not drinking. And thus the brave soda smith, Corbin, sacrificed his own selfie self to make the perfect fizzy drink. Cementing his <laughs> legacy forever. <laughs> Take this gift to remember him by. But wait, what was the last element? It was love, Valentine. Love 
love of soda. Oh. Neat. I think I'm done with these hexes now. I just want to get to the boss. What? No need to rush. You're having fun. Tina, are you padding out the campaign so that we'll stay here and play bunkers and badasses with you? <laughs> no. Uh, the ancient catacombs are an integral part of the narrative. So who's laughing now, Valentine? Hi, it's me. Ha! They're not. But <laughs> I'll take the opportunity. With all this soul energy flowing to me, I can create all sorts of new nightmares. <laughs> This city was built by a civilization of advanced sorcerers named the Vatu. I've launched an eon of dark campaigns from here, but it was dead long before I arrived. The Vatu understood what soul energy was. They designed the city itself to siphon it out of the world. They used it to rule like arrogant gods at the expense of everyone else. Actually, a pretty good gig if you can get it. I'll skip the rest of the exposition since you know where it's going. The Vatu and their souls were absorbed by the very arcane mechanisms they created. Classic. Just goes to show, no one stays the master forever.
Zombies! Does it bother you to know there were fate makers before you? All heroes of their own <laughs> stories, but they never lived up to their namesake. They just played her game and went through the motions, because that's exactly what she wants. Take these creations of mine. They exist only to do my bidding. And when they fail, I'll just make a hundred more. Because they're disposable. Like you. wants you to think you're special, unique, one of a kind. Do you even have a name, Fate Maker? Has anyone ever said it? Has she? Yeah, didn't think so. How's that for active reload?
warning next time. You rise from the sand choked catacombs, following the twisted cables of the ancient Batu soul eating mechanisms. Okay, newbie, to the Hall of Heroes. the hexed entrance to the Hall of Heroes. It's got a fancy name with a lot of syllables, but basically it's a giant sweet-ass magic laser that you can use to blow open the barrier hex. This speaks to me. Hey, those guys are hanging out around our giant sweet-ass magic laser. Kick their asses. <laughs> oh, I blame you for trying. Looks like magic's back on the menu. Bird power! Idiot! This arcane device was designed to amplify magic to its limits. If you can use it with your dispel magic... Oh! oh ah, this super duper dispel ever cast! Well, we're gonna need some super duper dispel room. And you shall find them to the imps and wibbles of the laser. A bit nippy, eh? Arcane device is supercharged with dispel energy! Hope it's super duper charged. Hit the activation room! Let's fire this thing! Playing with you. Oh, Tina, so are we. 
So, uh, don't hate me? Uh-oh. 